Welcome to Common Sense. I'm your host, Laura Fong, and today's episode is all about the taiko. It's a Japanese drum that seems simple in some ways, but is very deep. Asano Taiko has been making them for more than 400 years, and when they came to the US, they started a taiko school. So get ready to learn about making, repairing, and playing from the masters. I want the word taiko or wadaiko to become a vocabulary word that a lot of people know. Taiko means drum in Japanese and wadaiko means Japanese drum. And when a group gets together to perform, it's known as kumadaiko, a high energy show. Historians don't know the taiko's exact origin, but many believe it came from China or Korea. The folklore goes that it was used to scare enemies away in battle, and it was and still is used for religious ceremonies. Asano Taiko is one of the major manufacturers in Japan. It's a full-service taiko maker that started back in 1609. More than 400 years later, the company opened a location in America. The North American taiko community has been growing a lot ever since um, the introduction in 1958. Asano has seen so much potential in the U.S. as sort of a market and growth for taiko and its culture. Katsuji Asano is the CEO of Asano Taiko U.S. He runs the company with his wife, Julia. They realize that this is a great opportunity for them to just come here and have a facility where they can distribute drums and share knowledge. In addition to making and selling drums, Asano Taiko's mission is to promote the culture. So Asano Taiko U.S. started a taiko school. When we were deciding to open up this company, my brother-in-law was a taiko instructor and he himself was trying to start his own community sort of school of taiko. So it just happened to match up at the right time. Yuta Kato is Asano's brother-in-law. He started playing taiko when he was just 10 years old and he's been playing professionally for about 13 years. Now he's the principal of the Los Angeles Taiko Institute, or LATI. After a while, I realized that the teaching aspect was more meaningful to me than performing. So slowly the teaching gig got more and more. I got asked to do more private lessons or more um, different groups would approach me to teach. Um, and soon I became just able to sort of support my life just by teaching. Kato runs the school with Chris Bergstrom, who's the head instructor. The first time Bergstrom saw a taiko performance was in college and he decided to try it out himself. I didn't consider myself a musician. I was really into sports, but I, well, I don't consider myself particularly physically talented, so I didn't have anything going for me. But I definitely fell in love with it, and over the course of that four years in college playing taiko, I just got more and more into it. Lati is just one-third of Asano Taiko U.S. At their school and store on Southwestern Avenue, just off the 405 freeway, they sell beautiful, handcrafted taikos imported from Japan. Taiko is a, is a percussion instrument, and percussion instruments are very simple, but because it's very simple, it's also very deep. And that sort of depth for us is what I think people are attracted to. It's the passion and power of taiko performances that resonates with audiences and draws in new players. When you see someone like playing their guts out or like going all out at something, um, I think it gets you involved in a different way. The third part of Asano Taiko US is repairs. In the back is a workshop where craftsman Toshi Kato, Yuta and Julia's father, fixes taikos. This family business is rooted in history and music, from making and repairing to performing. Stick around, we step into the classroom and get our first Lati lesson next. My favorite thing about music is it's reliable, it's always there. There's nothing to worry about when you do music. It takes my mind off of all of the worries that I have in life. You're just having fun. When I'm playing it, I'm like, wow, this is me. I sometimes just like shock myself. 
just wonderful that I'm part of something that brings me great joy. And it just helps me cheer up other people. And the sound just increases around you and you just become immersed in it, you become one with it. When you play music, you are playing life. Four steps to that, right, left, right, left. Eat, ni, so, re. Welcome back. We're learning about Japanese drums from one of the world's oldest family of taiko makers, the Asanos. The parents seeing their kids being able to learn something that's historical and cultural makes us feel like we are able to contribute to our community and continue on the traditions that are important to us. Asano Taiko US is the parent company of the Los Angeles Taiko Institute. They provide the school with two professionally soundproof classrooms and dozens of exceptional drums and accessories. Our dream is that if you come and you catch the Taiko bug like we've got it, Lati offers a variety of ways to try Taiko, from free classes to 12-week courses and even workshops. Kato and Bergstrom are the main teachers along with other instructors and occasional guest teachers. We love having them here teaching different styles because I'm not going to be the one that can teach everything at this facility. So um, that's why I say it's sort of like a dream come true for Taiko players because someone can belong to a Taiko group and on the side take classes here without feeling like they need to belong to like a certain entity or a certain school of thought. There are many different taiko styles. It depends on how the taiko is positioned. If the taiko is placed on the floor, then we're hitting up and down this way. If it's on a slanted stand, then we're hitting this way. Right? And then this accounts, they enables you to do different types of movements and how you use your body is different. There are several slanted styles, including naname, hachijo, and odaiko. All of our classes are open to beginners who have no background in anything. So we teach you everything from rhythm, how to use your body, all those things, words, vocabulary, everything. So most of our students here started with no experience in taiko. No experience or rhythm? Check. That's not stopping me, though, from trying taiko for the first time. It's a concentration challenge as much as anything. So is that kind of how you teach the students? It's a mimic form. A lot of times. I think it's the fastest way to learn in a lot of cases. It's kind of the most frustrating because your brain can't do that for very long. So I also use more explanatory teaching too. I think it's actually you learn faster if we just play and you just figure it out. Depending on the drum's size, shape, and position, each strike with the bocce makes a unique sound. Don't underestimate yourself. You're more skilled than you think. Bergstrom says he notices all of his students bring personal experience to the classroom, and everyone has something they need to improve, too. There's so many things in Taiko that if you're not perfectly unaware of those kind of concerns, then you'll, you'll have these moments where you're playing and you realize, oh my gosh, I'm standing in such a weird way, or I'm doing something weird with my face, or there's so many things. What you have to do is you've got to pick one and make it better. Yeah. And then once you start to get that, then move on to the next one. The music goes hand in hand with the choreography. As taiko players, when we compose, we have to combine those elements. And sometimes we come in from an idea that's based on choreography. I want this kind of movement to happen, and then we'll match that with the drumming. Or the opposite. We will have, I want this sort of feel or groove, and then we'll add movement to it too. So I like it how it's logical, it's creative, and also it is artistic in that you can have control over how it's supposed to feel. Taiko is something you can learn at any age, like Kato who was 10, or when you're grown up like Bergstrom in college. Lati offers classes for children all the way to senior citizens. We have students that have started, obviously, in the very early era and also started late. None of it seems to matter. I think Taiko is such a diverse art form, not only in the challenges that it presents to us, but the number of ways that you can enjoy it. Let the music resonate with you. We have one more break, and when we come back, our taiko playing gets in sync with the rice pounding tradition.
this is the best part of coming to the conventions. Every, the speakers are wonderful, other things are, uh, the sessions are wonderful. Getting to hear the kids, that's, uh, that's why I come. One of the best parts and one of the most um, loved parts are the student performances. Um, I think it's really important for our audience. They really look forward to actually seeing the kids in action. Most people participating in the drum circle have never hit a drum in their life. It's, it's probably best that you just see what happens instead of me saying what happens. I didn't think I was as nervous as I was until everybody stopped playing. Did it go good? Oh yeah, definitely. Whenever you get on stage, you're like in the zone. <laughs> you don't even notice you're nervous anymore. They see taiko and they just want to do it, they should just do it. While a taiko is a Japanese drum, you don't have to be Japanese to enjoy taiko. It has come to the point where people, they don't feel weird about a different race or different, like, people playing taiko anymore because um, in Japan even, professional groups have foreigners playing taiko in their professional groups too. The Los Angeles Taiko Institute helps students go from beginner to performer or students can join different taiko groups. One of the styles that we teach here is comes from the island of Hachijo in Japan. Hachijo Island, they're all about drunken taiko playing. And we teach that style because it is a form of expression. Once they graduate that class in a way, they join a club called the Hachijo Aikokai, which is like Hachijo like lovers group is in the Japanese way of saying it. And then so we'll get together and get drunk and play taiko. Taiko groups are welcome to rent the classrooms and drums to practice or for outside performances. There are many ways for people to be surrounded by the taiko sound. It can be a creative outlet, a workout, or it can even help make mochi. I got into taiko because I grew up in a family that belonged to a rice pounding group and then they had taiko on the side as sort of rhythm keeping to go along with the rice pounding. The rice pounding makes mochi, a Japanese dessert. The process can be dangerous without the taiko. We have a group called Mochi Mochi, which is inspired by this, in this fantastic group in San Francisco called Kagami Kai. One of the founding members of Kagami Kai is Yuta's father, and Yuta was a performing member of Kagami Kai for many years. Yuta's dad, Toshi, helped the Mochi Mochi group get all the tools they needed and map out the musical side. The rice is very sticky, which is why there's a person called the kishi whose job it is to wet the rice and turn it so the person with the mallet is always hitting the part that needs work. The rhythm is required so that the two can coordinate their actions. So you're pounding and the kaishi knows when the next one's coming so they can get in and change the rice in production and get out of the way before the mallet comes. I love that use of rhythm, that it, it would allow two people to do somewhat dangerous work together in conjunction. The process is a lot of fun to watch and of course the best part is enjoying the mochi. Our dream is to show everybody in Torrance taiko and mochi making at some point, so people should come and just check it out That's whenever they get a chance. Asano Taiko US and the Los Angeles Taiko Institute believe in sharing the taiko experience with the community. Five years from now, I've, I'm hoping that this facility and what it has to offer is going to make the general overall taiko community better. They hope to continue to do so by selling handcrafted world-class taikos and continuing to focus on their students. Through this facility, we want people to enjoy and appreciate the depth and beauty of Taiko itself and the Japanese culture. Thank you 
so much to Asano Taiko US and the Los Angeles Taiko Institute for welcoming us into their store and school. If you're interested in learning Taiko or want to buy an Asano Taiko, they're located at 20909 Southwestern Avenue. To get into their parking lot though, turn down 208th Street and follow the Taiko signs. All this information can be found on their websites, asano.us and taiko.la. And the next time you're on Facebook, head to our page Common Sense Torrance and give us a thumbs up. Now that I've learned how to play Taiko, I'm definitely going to need one of my own. But before I continue shopping, I just want to thank you so much for watching Common Sense, where we offer you a rare, behind-the-scenes look at local businesses and explore the secrets to their success. What do you think? This one on the Common Sense credit card? 